In today's video, we'll be learning about Google Calendar and uncovering 14 incredible tips and tricks that will boost your productivity. We'll cover everything from revealing all the formulas to navigating through a large spreadsheet with this. Let's get started! Hello and welcome to ShootBeat. In this channel, we regularly publish software and technology tutorials, interesting and useful tips and tricks, and much more. Be sure to subscribe to our channel to be notified when new videos are published. The first tip is keyboard shortcuts. Using keyboard shortcut keys can help you quickly navigate throughout your calendar. It's not only efficient, but also makes you look like a computer nerd in front of your coworkers. Pressing the question mark key on your keyboard opens a cheat sheet with all the available shortcut keys. If you don't see this, make sure to enable it in your settings. Tip number 2. Mouse power. Don't underestimate the power of your mouse. You can customize your calendar view by highlighting multiple days in the side panel calendar. You can also reschedule meetings by clicking and dragging them to a different date. Creating new events is as simple as dragging on your calendar and specifying the duration. It works for multiple day events too. Tip number 3. Create events from Gmail. If you're stuck in an email thread and need to schedule a meeting, you can create an event directly from Gmail. Click on the ellipses and select Create an event. All the details from the email, including the subject and description, will be automatically populated. The recipients become guests and you just need to set the location and save. Tip number 4. Display secondary time zones. This feature helps you schedule meetings from people in different time zones. You can avoid accidentally scheduling meetings in the middle of their night by displaying their time zones. It's a handy tool to ensure better coordination. Tip number 5. Sync Google Calendar with other apps. Google Calendar offers seamless integration with various productivity apps and platforms. You can sync it with your email client, project management tool, or even your fitness tracker. This ensures that all your important events and tasks are in one place, making it easier to stay on top of your schedule. Tip number 6. Share your calendar. Sharing your calendar with colleagues, friends, or family members is a great way to collaborate and coordinate events. You can choose the level of access they have, whether it's just viewing, editing, or managing events. It's an excellent feature for team projects, group outings, or simply keeping everyone on the same page. Tip number 7. Set event notifications. Don't rely solely on your memory to remember important events. Google Calendar allows you to set up reminders and notifications for your events. You can receive alerts via email, desktop notifications, or even push notifications on your mobile device. Stay punctual and never miss an important meeting again. Tip number 8. Create recurring events. If you have regular events or meetings that occur on a consistent basis, save time by setting them up as recurring events. You can specify the frequency, duration, and end date. This way, Google Calendar will automatically populate these events for you, saving you from manually creating them each time. Tip number 9. Attach files and documents. Google Calendar allows you to attach relevant files and documents to your events. Whether it's a presentation, agenda, or any other supporting material, you can easily access it right from the event details. This feature comes in handy when you need to share important files with attendees or have them readily available for reference during the event. Tip number 10. Changing event owner in Google Calendar. To change the owner of an event in Google Calendar, follow these steps. Click on the event to view its details. Then click on the ellipsis icon. Select Change Owner from the options. Enter the email address of the new owner. Click the confirmation button to complete the ownership transfer. Tip number 11. Use color-coded events. Google Calendar allows you to assign different colors to your events based on categories or themes. This visual distinction makes it easier to identify and differentiate between various types of events at a glance. You can assign colors to specific calendars or create custom color labels. It's a simple yet effective way to keep your calendar organized and visually appealing. Tip number 12. Enable working hours. If you want to maintain a clear distinction between your personal and professional time, you can set up working hours in Google Calendar. By enabling this feature, your colleagues and clients will see when you're available for meetings or appointments, helping them schedule events accordingly. It's a helpful tool for managing your time and ensuring a healthy work-life balance. Tip number 13. Use the Find a Time feature. When scheduling meetings with multiple participants, it can be challenging to find a time that works for everyone. Google Calendar's Find a Time feature solves this problem by analyzing the availability of all participants and suggesting the best possible meeting time that accommodates everyone's schedule. It saves your time and eliminates the back and forth communication to find a suitable time slot. And finally, let's explore tip number 14. Integrate Google Meet. 
If you frequently use Google Meet for video conferencing, you can integrate it seamlessly with Google Calendar. When creating or editing an event, you can add a Google Meet link, making it easier for participants to join virtual meetings directly from the calendar events. This integration streamlines the process and ensures everyone has access to the meeting link at the right time. And there you have it, 14 amazing tips and tricks for mastering Google Calendar and enhancing your productivity. I hope you found these insights helpful and that they revolutionize the way you use your calendar. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel for more valuable content. And as always, leave your comments down below with any questions or additional tips you'd like to share. Thank you for watching and until next time, stay organized and stay productive.